Welcome to the Guilford Run Band Along Litter Trap. This is a trash trap that's funded with money from the Prince George's County Department of Environment through a grant from the Chesapeake Bay Trust. My name's Trey Sherrod. I work with Anacostia Riverkeeper, and we've been contracting closely with Joe's Creative Works Stream Team to clean out and maintain the trap. Hello, everybody. My name is Kevin with Joe's Stream Team, Environmental Protection, Preservation, and Restoration Group with a focus on litter reduction in our local waterways. What you'll come to learn through this presentation is that the litter that ends up in our waterways usually starts right in your neighborhood. In the battle against litter, the Prince George's County Department of the Environment is leading the effort to reduce trash and debris in our communities and waterways. We aren't alone in this effort. It's through partnerships with county residents, organizations, civic groups, schools, municipalities, and neighboring counties and cities that we're increasing our resources and removing and reducing litter. But the goal of a trash-free and litter-free Prince George's County is not achieved without your help. As required by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency and the Maryland Department of Environment, Prince George's County must reduce litter and trash in the Anacostia River watershed by 170, 628,000 pounds annually. County organizations, businesses, schools and residents can help meet this goal by participating in litter cleanup events, recycling as much as possible, and preventing litter from reaching our waterways. I want to discuss with everyone this device that you see behind me. It's called a band along litter trap. And it does just what the name says. It traps litter that ends up in our local waterways. Now this particular waterway is just one branch off of hundreds that are in the Anacostia watershed. 
This device is completely wildlife friendly. It's built to float as the water level changes so any waterfowl or other fish that may come across it can swim right underneath while it still maintains its functionality of capturing trash and other litter that end up in the water. Now after clearing this out, we sort everything by what's recyclable, what's not, and bag it up as such, recyclable versus non-recyclable. Once this device is clear, we do a stream walk to gather any trash that might not have been caught by the litter trap and ended up elsewhere in the watershed. reasons why we sort the trash. First big pair of categories that they're going to sort the trash out into is recyclable or not recyclable. Excuse me. Drop something over here. Oh, my bad. I ain't even up. Speaking of equipment, some of our most important is our most basic. Just like this grabber or this shoulder bag right here. All things that you can pick up at your local department store so you and your family can host local pickups in your immediate neighborhood.
So as you can see, some of the most commonly found items are single-use plastic bottles. And these bottles that you're looking at now are fresh out of the Anacostia River. We literally just cleaned these out. These are very easily recyclable, so if you are going to continue using single-use plastic bottles, we encourage you to at least recycle them. Or a more eco-friendly option is to use reusable bottles. Among the materials that are not recyclable are a lot more food and drink related items, things like styrofoam from different takeout containers, wrappers, labels, straws, spoons, a lot of single use trash related to consuming food and drink. The stream that we're in in particular is just one of hundreds of branch off streams that stream off from the main river body, which is right over here. When we, the stream team, or other groups like ours have groups come out and volunteer with us, it's very important for us to have the necessary resources, resources meaning equipment, uh, funding, manpower, so on and so forth, to make sure that we can come out and get as much litter out of our natural world as possible. Just because of how easily litter can accumulate, one person throwing one piece of trash on the ground after they leave the store, finish their bag of chips, finish their bottle of water, um, whatever it might be, it doesn't seem like a big deal, but just picture this. If one person in each neighborhood all over the world threw a piece of trash on the ground, that adds up and that happens every day that's when it becomes a problem and it starts to negatively affect the health of our planet and all of its beauty.